Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to help you determine the molecular geometry of ClO3- ion. It is a chemical formula for chloride ion and to determine its molecular geometry we are first going to look at its lowest structure. So if you look at this lowest structure over here, chlorine atom is in the center and it forms two double bonds with two oxygen atoms over here one single bond with this oxygen atom and has a lone pair of electrons. Now to make it really easy for you guys, I am going to use AXC notation method to determine the molecular geometry of this molecule. There are many methods that you can use to find out molecular geometry but using AXC notation is one of the quickest way you can find out the molecular geometry. So to find out the molecular geometry we first need to know the AXC notation. So the AXC notation for chloride ion would be AX3. E1 because uh, A corresponds to the central atom, X corresponds to the number of uh, atoms it is forming bonds with which is 3 because there are 3 electron regions and E is the number of lone pairs because chlorine atom does have one lone pair. Now once you get this notation you can use this notation and this table to find out the corresponding molecular geometry. Here if you can zoom in you can see that AX3 E1 corresponds to trigonal pyramidal molecular geometry and this holds true if, if you look at the molecule in the 3d structure you can see that it has a trigonal pyramidal molecular geometry and using AXE notation or even if you use steric number you can come to this conclusion so using these two methods that is steric number and AXE notation you can easily find out molecular geometry of any given molecule however the molecular geometry for chlorate ion will be trigonal pyramidal and I hope this video helps you to understand that. For more such videos on Lewis structure, molecular geometry, polarity of the molecules, make sure to subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching.